what would you suggest to the CDS today, the Ghana Armed Forces, that's the CD, sorry, the Army Commander, if you are speaking to the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, in two minutes, what would you advise? Uh, uh, what I would tell you is that I've done a program on the Council of State before. The military police, the military and the police and various institutions of state should not be under the presidency. It should be under the Council of State. Because, like I said in my opening remarks, the Council of State, the state is there forever. But the governments come and governments go. They are coming for four years, maximum eight years, and they go. So if they come and mess up the whole state institution, it will take time. So recruitment and all these things, if you are a chief of defense staff, and the president comes and tells you, these four people, I want you to recruit them. Will you be able to say, he is the commander of the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the supreme commander of the armed forces? Will you be able to say no? You cannot. Okay. So that is your, your, your answer right there. The military should not be under the presidency. The police should not be under the presidency. The, 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 the uh, uh, what, what do you call it? The other security the agencies. Revenue collection people should not be under the presidency. There are certain institutions that should not be under the presidency because the president has come into power through a political system, a power, a, a okay. political party. All right. And that political party will be asking him to toe the line. 